This is the first load of 10,000 marijuana plants the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department yanked from an illegal grow on rugged terrain deep in Henry Coast State Park. Before the chopper hauled the plants out, 40 sheriff's deputies and California Fish and Wildlife wardens hiked in for hours to get to the illegal grow that was larger than they expected. So as you see, this hasn't started uh, budding yet, hasn't started flowering. Along with the pot worth as much as $40 million on the streets came two rifles with scopes. This rancher reported hearing a shot just two Sundays ago. I don't know if they were shooting at us or not. I don't know if it was a warning shot or not, but it was scary. Sheriff Lori Smith says the growers are willing to kill for their crops. We think that it's the cartels. It's the Mexican cartels that are doing it. There's a huge profit. The people who are tending the gardens and who are working are not the ones that are profiting from this, but there are huge profits. Officers are bringing out load after load of marijuana plants, and yet they will continue to go back to that site long after the plants are eradicated to remove all of the garbage from the site. They find camping supplies, human waste, and pesticides banned in the United States. They also find miles and miles of plastic irrigation tubing. If you find an irrigation line on public lands, there is a possibility that you're getting close to a marijuana grow. So turn and walk out. I would recommend that, yes. The Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department has arrested 19 people at illegal marijuana grows this year. Today, the growers got away, but the sheriff expects that they will be back, and so will her department to protect the park and the citizens who use it. People are armed. There's a huge value in, in the product that we're taking out this morning. In Santa Clara County, Chris Sanchez, NBC Bay Area News.